Hey guys, so today we have a 20 inch Apple cinema display that's in for repair. So this display here has a very, very common problem. When you hook it up and connect it to a computer, the front LED um, uh, flashes, um, I think it's a, a short, long short. It's a, a typical error with uh, a 3.3 volt regulator inside that, uh, that, that failed. If you want to confirm that, you can do it in two ways. So you can either tape the center pins on the power connector. So you have, you have to tape the two pins in the center, this, these two here. Or you can connect a higher wattage power supply. So if you have a 20, you can hook it up to a 90 watt or a 150 watt supply. If you have a 23, you can try it with a 150 if you have one lying around. If the display then turns on and it works properly, that means that we you only need to change that single 3.3 uh, uh, volt regulator. So first of all, we need to crack the display open. Uh, it's actually somewhat simple once um, if you do it properly. Okay, so I'm going to start with a free with a thin uh, pry tool. So I usually start from the top here and lift it up like this and then gently all right there we go remove this the plastic side at this point we need to unscrew a couple of screws This uh, this metal bracket here holds the front bezel to the um, to the back because when you need to remove the display or actually to reinstall it both ways, um, this front bezel here needs to be bent. I'll, I'll show you in a second. So we remove those screws here. I usually pick up a flat blade and just pry it up. There we go. At this point we need to remove this screw here as well. I don't think that the bottom one, uh, yeah, the one, the bottom one sh uh, can stay there. Uh, on the twenty-three inch, you can actually um, don't you don't need to remove it. You just need to remove the bracket, and that's it. So, and you can also see the tab right here. So this is what we're going to pull later on once we remove the other side, which I'm going to do it right now. Uh, on this side here, you also have the, you also have touch controls. So uh, you need to be careful with the cable, which is down here. So again, I'll, I'll start from the top. I'll lift it up. And then there's the cable. I'm just gonna pull on it. And I've just disconnected that. So we can actually uh, unscrew this one here too. And oh, there's just one down here. All right, so again, flat blade. Just gonna lift it up. And there we go. It's fairly simple, isn't it? So then this screw here again. I think it's a bigger size. Oh, it's a JIS. Uh, no, I, just, I think it's just a larger size Philips. Okay. So now we need to pull the two tabs. So there is another one right here. So I usually just pick up a flat blade and pull it towards me. Like this. So now, so that unlocks the, um, the catches that are here under there. We need to do the same thing on the other side. Again, there's another tab right right here. 
just pull on it and you can see now the front bezel has been released so now I just put the display like this I'll thread the cable from the hole on the stand wire stuck all right so thread the cable now this is where the hard part comes in all right so this is where the hard part comes in because we need to uh, extract the display from the casing so with one end I usually keep this open so oh before I forget uh, we need to remove the front LED too so we need to remove the tape it's on here this black tape here underneath is a connector there it is and we need to unplug this connector here there we go so um, let's start removing the display I usually keep with one end the uh, chassis open and then I'll just pull it Okay, so there we go. So there's the display. So I just now just pick all the cables off of it. I actually can leave it like this and uh, place it on my workbench. All right, so I've got the display laid down on my bench flat. And I'm going to start by making a couple of measurements to make sure that the problem is in fact the 3.3 uh, volt uh, regulator. So I've got the display hooked up to power and I also have a MacBook. Alright, there we go. I also have a MacBook here and I'm just picking up my multimeter. So let's check if we have input voltage. So the, the input connector is right here. So we have 24.66 volts. Oh, you can see that. So we do have the 24 volts in. So if we connect it to the Mac, let's see what we get. So the display is now detected, but the light does not turn on. There is an LED inside here. And we can check the 3.3 volt regulator. Yeah, as you can see, it's, out, it's outputting 4 volts, not 3.3. So the problem is, in fact, um, as expected, the regulator. So yeah, we have 4 volts instead of 3. So, um, let me disconnect the display. I'll also turn the mic off. Alright, so uh, we need to start by removing it. So you can do it in many ways. You can both do it with a hot air gun, but you may risk dam uh, damaging the capacitors nearby, or you can do it with a soldering iron. Um, you need a fairly high power soldering iron because there's a big pad here to desolder it, but uh, it's, it's doable. So let's begin with, by removing it. So. I usually start by cutting off the two leads right here just to make the job a bit easier. So just cut the two leads and remove them first. Of course this this uh, component here is broken so there is no need to um, so we don't need to remove it in one piece. So let me start by desoldering them. There we go one I can also add some leaded solder so it will flow a bit better hopefully we'll cooperate a bit more so let's see I think I may need to cut it again there we go Oh, I think I've, I may have damaged 
the, the pad here. Oops. Oh, uh, yeah, I've done some damage. We'll fix that later, I guess. And now we need to remove the big one. So let's see if we can. Yeah, the, the, the I'm not using the correct tip for doing this because I've, I have a very fine tip on my soldering iron right now. So I actually would be slightly better to use a, a larger tip. Oh, well, the regulator blew up. Uh, oh yeah, I broke it. Never mind. So let's. Let's see if you can steal the soldering. Maybe right now I can apply a bit more heat. Yeah, there we go. So we can now, there we go. We've desoldered it. So we can now just clean up the, the pad. So we actually have bits of uh, regulator lying around. I've done this multiple times, but this display here doesn't really want to cooperate. Really doesn't. <laughs> Alright, so I'll prepare the other pads as well. Use some wick on it. Right. So now we have this one here, which I am unfortunately broke it, but I think that there is enough left here to still make a uh, a decent contact. So I'm not gonna worry too much about it. So let me actually pick up a regulator. All right, so here I have the new IC. It's an LD1117 ADT33T. Just get it off. There it is. Put this away. All right, so let's solder it down. So let's see if I can put it in a way that I can still solder it. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's see. All right, so now we just need to solder the pad. Push it down. Apply some more, some more solder here. Make sure it's nice and pushed down. Same thing for this one here. And there we go. So there's some other bits lying around. So let me just get my uh, MacBook again. There we go. So we can apply power. And uh, let's do a test. So. 
Okay, so the display has power. Let me just connect it up. And there we go, the light is on. And let me actually turn the Mac on. Display is working. You probably cannot see that, but the display is running. Beautiful. So it's that easy. We can check that the 3.3 volator is working correctly. There we go. So now I just need to get the display back in the chassis, screw it up, and uh, test it for the last time. All right, so the display is back together. Got a MacBook here, so let's just plug it in. And there we go. So actually, if we connect the USB as well, we also get the um, on-screen display. There we go. Works beautifully. So. And I think that the power control has been disabled. So you can usually check that in preferences. So, here's the cinema display. And yeah, it's been uh, disabled, so we can unlock that. So we can do this. And close that, and now we can uh, turn off and on the display. Beautiful. So, works perfectly. Just a regulator, that's it. Thanks for watching.